Welcome folks to this tutorial. This tutorial is called Introduction to MATLAB and it is made especially for feedback control theory students. So students who are enrolled in the feedback systems are highly encouraged to attend and view this tutorial. This tutorial is a sequence of four lectures and this is the first lecture which I called basics. So the first thing I would like to ask is what is MATLAB? And MATLAB is basically an acronym for Matrix Laboratory. So when we say MATLAB, MATLAB basically means it is a matrix laboratory. MATLAB is a software package. And this software package performs engineering and scientific calculations. So what that means is when we talk about MATLAB is a bunch of software are integrated together and this package will perform or will evaluate mathematical calculations. And the calculations are performed in matrices form, which means that we have to understand the basics of matrices as well. And this can be a, a little bit cumbersome early on in the learning process but because MATLAB is so powerful that uh, the advantages of using MATLAB outperform or overcome the disadvantages of learning matrices usually what happened is when we use MATLAB MATLAB will save us a lot of time because we use something called toolboxes and each toolbox will have a set of built-in functions. So what that means is basically when we look at MATLAB, MATLAB will have toolboxes, or I like to call them libraries, where each library will have a set of built-in functions that already designed by experts and they are bug free. And what that means is I do not I do not have to reinvent the wheel and I can reuse whatever someone else's wrote to perform complex calculations. So when you go throughout the, the control theory course, you will learn that there are a lot of complex calculations uh, and MATLAB will do those complex calculations within a second. So it saves us a lot of time. And uh, some of the things that you will learn if you are studying control theory is that when you design a system, the design is iterative, which means that you have a wild guess and you go through the whole calculations. And then if your guess was inaccurate, you have to choose a smarter guess and you go through the whole process again. And you do that over and over. So it's an, an iterative process. And uh, the iterative process becomes very time consuming if you're going to do that with a calculator and a pencil. So you have to rely on software to uh, evaluate those complex calculations. So that's why MATLAB is uh, very powerful for us, especially if you are studying control theory. There is something that's called control system toolbox that we use, which will make our life much easier. The next thing we are going to learn is, uh, is that MATLAB uses scripts. So scripts basically is, uh, is something that executes statements as in a programming language. So if you wrote the programming in C, you know that the language in C will execute statements, if you want to call them commands, and MATLAB will do the same thing. However, when we say script, the script is something that runs on the top of the program. So the scripts in MATLAB run on the top of MATLAB. It is different than programming in C, for example. When you write a program in C, then you use a compiler to convert your command into something we call machine language, which runs on the top of the operating system. So running on the top of the operating system is much faster than running on the top of your program. Or basically it is much faster than running a script on the top of MATLAB. So we would expect the simulation to be slower 
than if you write a program in C. When you uh, use MATLAB, you will realize that its statements uh, use the programming style of C, which basically means that it is a sequential programming. And the sequential programming basically means that the execution of the statements is executed in sequential order. We uh, may use loop statements in MATLAB. For example, the for statement or the while statement can be used in MATLAB. We can use conditional statements like the if then or the case statement. We uh, can also create our own functions just like we do in C. And we may call existing functions. And that's where it saves us time. So when we use MATLAB, we use existing functions. And a lot of those functions are built-in functions that we can bring them in into our own functions to make even more complex functions. But we do that very fast, very quickly. And you will learn how to do that in this tutorial and in the following tutorials as well. So uh, now I wanted to have a few remarks about the whole tutorials, all those four sections we have. The first thing I want to say is something I already did, is it is intended for feedback control system students. However, working engineers uh, can use it as well, especially for those people who are not familiar with MATLAB and how to use MATLAB and control systems. So this tutorial might be beneficial for them. In this tutorial, we will start from the most basic functions that uh, MATLAB allows us to use. And then we will ramp up to more complex uh, topics like transfer functions, state variables, feedback systems, root locus. Uh, and we will do that all the way to robust control systems. So uh, this is really a very well compact tutorial that summarizes control system theory and I intend to have four lectures for this tutorial so if you bear with us and hopefully you will find it beneficial for you so the next uh, thing is uh, we're going to discuss is the outline of this tutorial and the first thing that we already discussed is basically what is MATLAB and then I would like to introduce something called the command window. And that is basically the window within MATLAB that will take the commands. Then we will learn how to define scalar variables and scalar operations. And then we will define vector variables and vector operations. And we will define, we will learn how to define matrices and matrices operations and then we will introduce the help menu how to seek help in MATLAB and keep in mind that no one is really expert at the whole package of MATLAB usually people are expert within their area of expertise within MATLAB so if you are a control engineer you need to know the control toolbox if you are a signal processing engineer you need to know the signal processing toolbox if you are a multimedia engineer, you need to know image video processing and audio processing toolboxes and so forth. I would say very few people in the world that will know MATLAB truly all the way for most of its functions. It is basically impossible to do. So you have to rely on the help menu. Then what we're going to do is we are going to introduce the scripting editor and how to write scripting file. So the scripting editor is the editor that we will use to write scripts. And after that, we will introduce functions. And then we will introduce plots. Let's start learning MATLAB. So that's what we're going to do next.